Hey guys, it's Cal here from FX Savers. Um, bit of a nice surprise today. This is something I've been working on uh, for a few weeks now. Um, this is my uh, interpretation of the... Well, not interpretation because it already exists, but uh, my own fully custom machined uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi Episode 3 style saber. Um, it's completely modular. Uh, it's got one point one and a quarter inch in internal diameter. Uh, it's got this. You can put your LED in here. Um, it, it's got the accurate past the Jedi um, clamp circuit card. Um, holes for sound, um, and it's completely modular. Um, so I'll just run through the basics of it. Essentially, Obi Wan Kenobi is one of my favorite characters. A lot of people have asked me to do an Obi Wan saber. No one really makes. Um, really accurate ones. Um, I think as I was planning this, uh, there was a few people on the forums who were making some, uh, but I'd already started this, so um, I had to finish it. So I'll just break it down for you. It's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces all together. Um, I also made a 12 segment grenade in case people want to duel with it. You can, because you know, you get a a longer grenade, bit better grip. Because this one is the standard. This is like the screen accurate one. I've still got to make the greeblies for the side. Um, hopefully, I can source them from someone else. Um, so fingers crossed with that. So I'll just break it down for you. Um, I'll loosen it. So we have the pommel here. Um, uh, the pommel has uh, room for sound, and um, it's completely one piece. Uh, that's all CNC aluminium. Um, we have the um, bottom half of the saver, which I'll show you here. So you can see how rigid it is because it's all screwed together. This is uh, actually two pieces. Sorry. So we've got this part at the bottom, like that. And you have this part, which the actual clamp goes over like this um, nice snug fit the grooblies will hold that in place so like that then we have the uh, the grenade which as I said you can um, change to a 12 or an or an 8 segment grenade um, you then have the well this could technically be the heat sink as well because you can fit an LED in there like a tri cree because the wires go through the center so you can see the LED will fit in there, the wires can run down, and that way you can have a close-up LED. Um, you could run a lead engine in there if you wanted to, because the bulb would be centered. Um, either way, doesn't matter. So you've got that part there, the neck. Um, those parts will be, that'll be like powder coat, transparent brass, and then uh, this will be transparent copper. Um, and then you have the emitter here that has the holes and a one inch blade uh, holder, and it has a blade stop on the inside. And uh, it's about an inch and a bit deep, probably more. Um, it goes all the way in there, so you're talking about the full length of thing. I probably about just over an inch. So there are all the pieces, um, and uh, I'm going to be getting it powder coated, getting it all polished and chromed and whatever, and I'll put a, a nice setup in there. Um, so that was just a bit of an update with regard to one of the projects I'm working on. Obviously, the Vindican project. I haven't done a video on that yet. Um, but I just thought I'd show you this today because it arrived in the mail. So, um, like I said, all these designs have been done 3D design and um, been completely CNC'd uh, overseas. So, um, this is my Obi-Wan Kenobi Episode 3 saver. Uh, give it a like if you like it. And um, I'll put some pictures on the forums if you're members there. And you can have a look. I'll also do another video just to showcase the update with my Return of the Jedi V2 saver that I'm doing. Thanks, guys.